Going in full on danger mode, mate. No helmet, no lights, just knee pads. Hello and welcome to Cycling with Russ. And tonight I'm going out with Phil, Phil Crumber. And we're gonna go and attempt the run that I crashed out on four weeks ago. So I've got my bike back. I'm not on the Santa Cruz anymore. I'm back on the Giant and it's been fully serviced. It's had the shock, rear shock rebuilt, new pivot bearings, new wheel bearings, it's had a hub service, it feels mint, just got a couple of tiny things to do, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'm will i gonna do them myself, so I'll do a video on them. Anyway, let's get going. So we're just making our way down, usually go to Millwell, but seems like it's my first ride out, we're just gonna go straight up, and I'll show you where the crash was, see if I can, uh, if I can remember what happened, see if I can spot where I, where I messed up, you know, the swore then. So we will come back when we're there. Turn to come to more with big, heavy lights. Look at that. Nice. And also, I return with Mr. Comba. And we're going to go up now and go to the first jump where I crashed and do a walk through. Of what went so wrong. then guys this is where I crashed this is the start of it Phil went off down there uh, you can't see but there's like four drops drops jumps whatever you want to call them and here comes somebody else coming up there anyway so I uh, come down here following Phil and I was in this gully here on the left and Phil had got down to there and I was watching him and I can see exactly where it all went wrong here now. I ended up in these ferns here. And this is it, where I went wrong here. And I wiped out and slammed in this part here. It doesn't look very gnarly. But uh, as you can see, Phil, where it's... Do you know what the thing is as well? Is that I've done it a million times before. I have done this so many times. It's unreal and it's one of my favourite segments you start up there come down this gully but I think actually now looking at it the right hand gully is probably the best line to take definitely nice and smooth comes out down into it and then you come down here and they get progressively bigger and steeper you can actually if you wanted to Although I'm bobbins at jumping, you can jump this here. And there's a nice smooth entrance there. Um, and yeah, just down in the distance, you can't see it. But that's where the big one is, the actual drop. So we're gonna send it down here a few times. Uh, I'll catch Phil now going. So here comes Phil. Nice. Nice. Right, here we go. It's not full speed, but I got down it. I'm nice and easy on the brakes. Often cut across. Boom. And boom, boom. Slow again, but a positive run. That did feel a bit better, that. Take three. And left hand lane. And off and over. And then onto this one. And then let's have a look at this one. Pretty straightforward, this one, isn't it? You know, from down here, it looks massive. And down here, it looks massive. Definitely not that middle line. Uh, I'm the right line. In fact, the middle line looks alright. Yeah, no, I'm stuck in the right hand line. Uh, yeah, the right's got a bigger kick on it. Go and have a look, Russ. What do you mean it's got a bit? Oh, coming over it. I never get air on that one, anyhow. I mean, if you went to the right there, you get a bigger kick, but that's enough. If you just pop that, you'll land where that stone is easy. Yeah, eventually. Not yet though. 
Go. I'm not ready for jumping just yet. So Phil's going to show us the other line. Now where he's walking, that's the line we used to take. We used to come down there and then start here. And this was actually the first, what we call as a drop, but it's not a drop. It's just the nickname it's got around there. Uh, it's actually the motocross track on Compton Moor. And while I've got your attention, please consider pressing that subscribe button because over the next few months I've got more videos coming, more mountain bike videos. So here's Phil. Ah. So here's Phil now, he's coming on second attempt from the top. He's coming in nice and fast, he's hitting the lip. Sweet Jesus. Let's see if I can't make a dog's dinner, so I'm clipped in. Perfect. So, uh, Phil went huge then. If you liked that, press that like button. Wow, wow, he went, he launched it. I can't wait to see his, uh, his POV on that. Hopefully, uh, he'll give me some of the footage and I'll put that in because he went a good, probably 16 foot easy. He, uh, he landed just down there. Bit slippy on the landing. You flew then, mate. Yeah, launched it. Here we go. Yeah. So, this is the line we used to take. Just come in here. Boom. And too slow. And over. Down. Now, this is where I used to, I used to send it a, Oh God! Honestly, I am so flipping nervous. What? Yeah. You see the gully there? Yeah. Why not just come to this side of it and straight off? Yeah, on the grass. Well, not even, not as far as the grass, but just on the high line there. Yeah. And then as you come out of here, this bends round, that's straight at it then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you've got rocks there and all sorts. You've got a chance of just clipping your pedals. But on the high line there, it's smooth as. Yeah, yeah. Rapid. And you could even just do a little pop there if you wanted. I'm sending this. From there? Huh? From there. Well, I always usually brake check here anyhow. Come on. <laughs> You're going to end up getting me killed, you. Just for the record, kids, if anything happens to me and you're watching this video, I can have his bike. It's all Phil's fault. Uh, no. Uh, no. Not on this one. I've been to myself over that and it's literally nothing. Let's send it. Now this is another one of my favourite segments. I felt just a beast. There's a bit coming up down here, that's a bit tricky. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was expecting that. 
cut through. Right. That's the end of the video. Um, positives, I've not crashed. <laughs> we done well. Well, I done well. Phil was just like a bat out of hell. Apparently I done well. Don't feel it. Well, I have. Yeah, let's keep it positive. Um, yeah, thanks to Phil for coming. There'll be a link popping up uh, at the end of the video for Phil's channel. Let's try and get him on 100 subscribers for Christmas. Let's give him a Christmas present. Come on, go over, check him out. He's got some top videos. Really good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. I'll be back with you soon. Don't know where or when, but yeah, it will be soon and some video or something. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.